Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are back in the building. Sheikh Fuad Abdi Kareem. Man, it's been a long time. Alhamdulillah. 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 We're back in the building. We had a beautiful episode. Uh, you know, I'm sorry for those who have been waiting patiently for this episode. You know, a lot of things we've been adjusting to. We came back from Umrah and then getting back. At, Alhamdulillah, beautiful experience, which we talked about on the podcast. And then we talked about, you know, there's a lot of things that are going on that mm-hmm. we experience. And inshallah, some things are in the future. Uh, we are in the last stretch of season two. We have about five episodes, inshallah, or so to anticipate, uh, inshallah. And we have exciting announcements to come in the future, inshallah. Come on. Anyways, beautiful discussion. We talked about uh, our umrah, reflection. And then we talked about the topic of transformation. What were some transformational experiences in our lives, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Pivotal moments in our life. And the transformational experience that we had yeah. recently during the month of Ramadan. We had a humorous discussion, alhamdulillah, with my brothers. Stories. And I'm glad that we did. Beautiful stories, huh? Yeah, man. Can yeah, never forget it. Beautiful stories, alhamdulillah. Shout out to the Australians in the UK, brothers. All right? of our brothers, come man. on. Eli Travel, man. Come Ilya on. Eli Travel, man. Come is on. Is it Ilya or Eli? No matter. Yeah, is that a Arabic word? Me. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, we're Shout out to If he's Eli, Eli Manning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brother. <laughs> We're going to get back in the debate with those brothers on how to say water. 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 Bro, they water. were forcing water. it. Did he say how you sound? Water. Bro, that's, <laughs> how I was like, that's not how <laughs> we nah, say it. I don't know. Uh, Our Australian brothers. Water. water. No, they said mm-hmm. water. No, no, no. Sunnies. <laughs> Sunnies. 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 Oh, my no, God. No, I was shocked when they said Sunnies. Okay. Mickey D's, huh? Mickey D's. Oh, D's. Mackies. Mackies. They say Mackies. Yeah, no, ma- yeah Mac or Macrons or Macrons. Mackers. No, 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 they didn't say that. They said that? Mackers is from McDonald's. No, hey, we're still in their slang, though. No, no, we don't no, make, no. It's going to be different. Mackers? Yeah. Mackers don't sound like someone want to go eat. <laughs> no, nah, bro. Come we'll on. end it at that. <laughs> Anyways, alhamdulillah. Beautiful time. Hear more about those beautiful stories, inshallah. We're going to see you on the other side. Yep. I rate your fit. Welcome back to an episode of Talk. Yahak, the podcast where we discuss the relevant topics impacting us, Muslim Western youth, to better connect with our faith. Man, brothers, it's been too long. <laughs> and uh, then we got yeah. Sheikh Fuad, uh, you know, the one and only. Come on, back man. On the, uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm back on the podcast, bro. SubhanAllah. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Okay, we got to reintroduce okay. ourselves, bro. I feel like our, they forgot about us, bro. <laughs> yep, you ain't lying, man. It's been too long, huh? Man, SubhanAllah. Recently, for those who do not know, who listened to our last podcast, mm-hmm. uh, the one me and you did, uh, man, we went out to uh, Saudi. Uh-huh. Sheikh Fahad was uh, rolling with us. Come on. SubhanAllah. We'll put the Umrah the last uh, couple of nights of Ramadan. SubhanAllah. Yep. Man, that was just a beautiful experience. Mm-hmm. Inshallah, we can get into that. It almost feels but, like it happened too fast. Akhi, it needs to, we should have hit pause when we were there. Man. SubhanAllah. Man, so... Last time we talked about it, we were just getting ready, like mentally, mm-hmm. getting ready for it. And Sheikh Fahad, alhamdulillah, did the beautiful Ramadan series yeah, uh, for us to hold you guys over and to benefit, alhamdulillah. But man, um, we wanted to do this kind of like Umrah reflection type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, for one, though, I think we could kind of speak to the fact that we've been kind of MIA for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we got yeah. back here like what, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah. Now. Bro, somebody commented on YouTube video. Mm-hmm. He said something like, are y'all dead? Upload now. I was like, yo, what? I was like, I was like, yo. It's too long. Yeah, give the people what they need. Huh? Yeah, subhanAllah. Yeah, and, you know, alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful thing, man. That's the fact that, you know. So has it been a month since they've seen our face? The, yeah, since that episode. Yeah. That last episode. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, That's, bro. Yeah, did that in Ramadan or before okay. Ramadan? It was done literally, like literally before. Three days or two days before we left. Right, so it was like halfway during Ramadan. Takes me back to those days, huh? Yeah. Man, for one, mm-hmm. subhanAllah, let's just go back to, man, where we were. That we all spent time, alhamdulillah, travel. Like, we always, you know, alhamdulillah, we always used to kick it over here, mm-hmm. learn uh, with you, alhamdulillah, spend mm-hmm. time. But when you travel with your brothers, man, it's another experience. Yeah. Especially when you go to a place like the Haram, man. Yeah, subhanAllah. I want to ask you guys, man, what do you guys miss most, man, for that experience? Akhi, there's, wallahi, there's too many things. Yeah, right. there's like too many things for us to like remember, remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I think just the fact that we were over there, I think for a lot of us, like it was, uh, it was a time where we were away from any distractions, mm. and it was just ibadah. And you're doing ibadah in the most blessed place that you can do it. Yeah. Right? So I think that's like you know the thing that I miss most about it. Mm. Right. I mean, obviously you come back here and you have you know life, 
you know you got responsibilities yeah that's right. what it you is you have your school you have your work you have mm. your family all of these things right for those two weeks that we were there we took a pause on all of those mm -hmm. right so all we focused on was pleasing our lord right that's true and that's what i that's what i missed the most Subhanallah. man for me like you really touched a lot of it but for me it was our adventures I enjoyed our adventures. Allahu Akbar. We have plenty of those. Uh, yeah. uh, that bond that we built out <laughs> yeah. there, mashallah. Uh, man, I, I miss my guy Khalid. I miss the UK yes, brothers, I man. Love. I miss everybody. Well, I was just such like a very, it was my first time just leaving the country. So it was like, it was a very like different. I miss everything. I'm not going to lie. I don't miss the street food, but yeah. I miss everything. Man, subhanAllah. Man, it's just, well, I, when you talk about just leaving, just leaving all, yeah. all yeah. the just what we grew accustomed to work, school, all this stuff to just mm -hmm. go pause mm -hmm. and also pausing the haram with all these brothers. I was talking to, I was talking to my aunt the minute I got back, I was like, I feel homesick. The yeah. fact that I want to go back now. Mm. Like, bro, I'm telling you right now, I uh, remember Alhamdulillah, we got invited from your, some brothers that you're acquainted with at yeah, the University of yeah. Medina. Yeah. Yeah, some brothers who are going for their masters or yeah, uh, BA at Islamic, you know, in, the, in that University of Medina. And mm -hmm. They invited us for that uh that time. Man. And that was something else. Bro, that was different. And you know, listen, let me tell you something. Like, they it's the West, Alhamdulillah, we're very comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one thing. We're very comfortable. All the amenities here is meant to make you comfortable. This is the best life. But man, when we're sitting down and we're eating on the ground, all of us brothers laughing, talking, enjoying. Yes, and then after that, talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're not yeah. talking about random stuff. We're talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're talking about the deen. Talk about learning. After man, that just that moment just keeps replaying in my head over and over and over. Mm. It also yeah, Akhi, for me, you know, from that night, the uh, thing that stuck with me is when the sheikh was giving the lecture, mm. and he said to us, he says that you are in the city of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You're in Medina to mm -hmm. so They illuminate the city of Medina. Allah. Do not become people that go back and take everything with them, mm. except the nur that came from me, except the light that you know made it al Munawwara. Right, mm. like this, the whole time he was just telling us that we have to go back right. and take this light that came from Medina, which is Islam, mm. and mm. go and take it to everybody. Spirit. And this is something that I just I, I keep remembering it. Right. Whenever I'm doing something, I'm like, Subhanallah, this is one of the gems that you know that night was shared for us. Allah, that's true, Allah. man. <laughs> Allah, no, bro, that's I'm telling you right now, man. I'm getting just thinking about it, bro. Just I feel yeah. nostalgia just thinking about it. Subhanallah. The minute I got back, bro, what was funny it was I was wearing my thobe. And you know, no matter don't care, you know what I'd be wearing when I go on yeah. the street. Mm -hmm. But I literally forgot where I was. I yeah, forgot the probably. fact that I'm not in a in a non Muslim place. Yeah. And I went into a Target with my thobe and I like I looked up and I was like, Oh, okay, I'm the only one wearing a thobe. Like that clicked for me. And mm -hmm. you know, subhanAllah, man, I'm just gonna say this, it's like again, there's no place you're gonna get as comfortable <laughs> and as as much pleasure you're gonna get, yeah, uh, as the United States. I'm telling oh. you right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, but the sweetness of having your brothers and sisters in Islam around you in your community, yeah, no, nothing can uh, nothing can care, compare to that. You feel me? Yeah. You know? No, Allah. Like right. honestly, right. Like to be honest with you, there is um, you know, in when we were over there, right. I only see like I've for just one night. I remember that was the only time I seen people wear like. Men wearing shirts and pants. Oh yeah, and when the we other, wear. that was Eid mm. in Jeddah. That night we oh, went. Yeah, that was it. That was, that was, that, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the only time that I seen people wearing. And I'm like, dang. And then all of a sudden, right. and then when we we're back at like next to our hotel or like we're going to the masjid or whatever it is that we're doing, right. it felt uncomfortable just to wear my regular. I felt like I was the odd one. When you went, yeah, yeah. When you're over there, you feel the odd one when you're wearing clothes. So you're out, like, ah, yeah. uh, okay. That's how it is then. Yeah, definitely. Then you didn't, as soon as you wear it, and it's like, oh, dang, ah, oh, yeah, for sure, then that's how I look now. That's mm. how it is. And nobody just cares. It's just everybody just vibes with you. Mm. You know? That's mm. what I enjoyed the most about it. SubhanAllah. Oh. No, no, that's for sure, bro. Yeah. But I wanted to expand our umrah reflection, something beyond. I wanted to talk about the topic of, like, transformation. Transformation, mm -hmm. you know, transforming your life. Mm -hmm. Transforming, you know, from going from, you know, being further from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and returning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, drawing near to Him. Mm -hmm. And during this month of Ramadan subhanAllah, that was a time for a lot of us being in the haram subhanAllah, that was a, that was a resource for us to do so. Mm -hmm. But man, I want to go into like your individual experiences inshallah. Make this deep inshallah. I want you guys man to share what, are, what was some transformational experiences, right, that have 
contributed, you know, to the man that you are now? What was that in your relationship with Allah or just anything that really changed you? Was it a specific experience, something that stood out to you? You shared your experience with student being a student of knowledge, right? Yeah. And how that intention, if everyone wants to go back to that, it was your first uh, time here. It was not the perfect quality. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah. But I want you, even if you can touch on that, some of that right now, but like, what was some of that transformational experience of the that made you who you are right now? Akhi, I don't think, like, like there are some habits that Alhamdulillah was able to pick up. Right. That I don't ever want to give up. I don't think I've ever understood. Um, mm. You know, people talk about the sweetness of making istighfar, mm. right? Like right. in in whatever like whatever thing you're doing, constantly making istighfar. Mm-hmm. Right. Obviously, this was something that you know we do after salah, we'll do here and there and stuff like that. So. But being in the haram mm. and realizing that the only thing that we are here for is seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so. mm-hmm. has made like coming back from that mm. and has one it's, it's made it com- so much easier to do istighfar because mm. I keep thinking back to where we were we were at the first house that was built for the purpose of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so. and we're making tawaf around the Kaaba. we're looking at it when we pray and so on you know right. so one of like for me the best thing that, ha- that one of the best things that came out of this umrah for me was that Right. I'm so in love with istighfar mm-hmm. mm. Like Every time I say it I actually feel something happening mm. Mm. And I think one is due to Where that habit was picked up from Because I'd, everywhere where I would be walking I'd, I'd just think to where, where, where am I standing on mm. These are sacred lands that we're walking upon These mm. are the streets which the Prophet Sallam walked upon mm. right, So what is one thing that he used to do constantly To seek istighfar mm. right, So that's one thing that you know, Alhamdulillah um, That has come back with me mm-hmm. and like really has changed the way that I, you know like a lot of the things that um, I've been doing Alhamdulillah Allah Akbar yeah. man uh, real quick though mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah that was about you know this Umrah reflection yeah. in terms of recently Alhamdulillah you're standing before us as an Imam someone who yeah. has learned the deen who is teaching the deen Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen mm-hmm. uh, your brother who grew up much like us you know mm-hmm. growing up out here and MashaAllah subhanahu wa ta'ala has safeguarded you from Allah and, and has favored you in a lot of ways. So may Allah continue to Ameen, keep you steadfast, Akhi. Ameen. But I, I'm really curious, earlier than this, you yeah. know, beyond this, a lot of people, man, are like us. Mm-hmm. Maybe they have experienced being distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have not really tasted the sweetness of istighfar and getting closer or drawing near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. So where did your journey begin? You know, to, we, grew to, up, we were born Muslims. We grew up yeah, Muslims. Alhamdulillah. But do you have an early memory where you were like, Akhi, like, Alhamdulillah. Like, really Akhi, transforming. Really the earliest, the earliest memory I have, and I think I told you this before, mm-hmm. was when I was living in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. And I was very young. Right. I'm thinking, this was maybe when I was like six, seven. And I was going to a madrasa. The, the madrasa is still there. The duxi is still there. Right. It was a boarding school, but our parents couldn't afford to take us to boarding school. Mm. So we would go and spend the day there, and then they would pick us up, you know, right before Maghrib. Mm. But the other students, they would get to sleep there. And I remember there was Ramadan. Ramadan, it was towards, like, the last 10 night. Mm. And we were in, like, there was a bunch of other little kids with us, mm-hmm. right? Because we were in the boarding school, we were learning Quran and stuff. And out of nowhere... I was, there was a kid that was like two years older than me, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. still under the age of 10. The, 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 like the imam of the masjid that was leading the masjid taught him to go and lead the salah. And this mm-hmm. is taraweeh. Mm-hmm. And I was standing there and at this time, mm-hmm. I only memorized up to Surah Al-Ahqaf. So this is like five juz only. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm watching that kid. I'm like, that's somebody I play with. That's mm-hmm. somebody I run around with. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. he's standing in front of us and leading a salah. What is wrong with me? Mm. Why can I be the one that's doing that? Right. Mm. So that's really like the, whenever I think back to, you know, what made me choose this path. Mm-hmm. It's always this memory of that kid leading. Mm. Mm. You know, that kid going and leading at that age, and I'm like, we're so close. And you're only two years older than me, mm. and you're still a little kid. We're all little kids, but you're leading. You're standing in front of all these people, right. and you're reading the Quran. So I told myself that day I was like, one day I'm about to take that spot. Mm. Mm. So Alhamdulillah, that's like like the earliest thing that I remember. And then like throughout high school and throughout like like living in America and stuff, right. one of the things that would always take me back so. would be one that memory, mm. and the fact that our my parents tried really hard to make sure that we st- stuck to our Quran. Mm. 
Mm. Reading our Quran, making sure that they took us to Madrasa and so on. Right. And so just slowly, you know, about 10 years later from that point, 11 years later, mm. I was able to lead Taraweeh. Allah. And I was like, my goal is complete now. SubhanAllah. Whatever I wanted to do, I've done it now. Mm. And then it became like, this is something that I actually enjoy. Now I have to take it a step further. Mm. Right, so now I have to learn. Right. You know, and that's how, um, you know, this journey started for me. Allah Alhamdulillah. Masha Allah. How about you, Akhi? Well, for me. What pops up, bro? Wallahi, do I talk about what happened in, uh, what's it called? That when we're. Whatever was a transformative that me, really made like, you take the deen more serious or made you. Oh, uh, more serious? Yeah. That's for sure when I was 18. I, I would mm. never forget me and this guy went to my first Jum'ah. Mm. Together, yeah. Wow, Taki Hak, it's been uh, it's been huh? the works for some time. Man, yeah. it has been. Oh, yeah. Allah, 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 Allah. So, Allah, to me, I, I want to say it was our senior year, maybe junior year. I don't really mm-hmm. quite remember that often, mm. but I remember like we went to Jum'a or it was we had a game that day and we're just chilling. Mm. And all of a sudden, they said, Hey, bro, I'm about to go out, pray Jum'a. I said, What's that, bro? I said, Oh, what? I said, Come, we left. And that, to me, just the feeling of just entering the massage, because I didn't grow up the most religious kid, yeah. you know? So that was the thing, like, you know? And so when that happened, that transformation, it was just a beautiful feeling going to Texas. To me, like, just going to that massage and just seeing, like, the community. Uh, the, the, the Quran like, recitations yeah. out there was different. Oh, it was oh, you guys were out different. there? Yeah, yeah. Like Dallas. Shout Dallas, out to those in Dallas, Dallas, bro. Oh, mashallah. So we were there for, like, the last 10 days. So was it the Irving Mosque? Irving? Mm-hmm. Was yeah, it yeah, it was the Irving Mosque. Oh, about and it was just, and then them, like, telling us so about, like. like year before you got married. Mm-hmm. I see, yeah. No was way. Was I married that time? No, he was married. You I were was? married? Yeah, you were married. Yeah. yeah you were married. I, was, I was young. Yeah. Oh, so this was after you met me then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. This is 2019. That's proud of wow. So 2019 we summer. Yeah, or like funny. right before summer, I believe. Right. It yeah. was one of those. And to me, that was like the most beautiful experience I've ever had. Just like mm. going to a place where after you pray Taraweeh, they're doing khutbas. And there's just mm. the different sects that come. And it's like, whoa. And that feeling like God, bro, I was just tearing up over there that night. Just, you know what I'm saying? And that, like, that urge of wanting to be like, you know what? Like, I feel like. This does so much good for me, you know? And to mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. like, right before I went to Umrah, yeah. there was something that I quite never understood was, like, um, like you know how you always make dua, God, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, you know? Mm-hmm. And so we were in Medina, and mm-hmm. it was Maghrib. I would, there was a guy, his name's Uthman. And yeah. I just sat next to him. And he just said, what's your name? I told him, my name's Abdul Kareem. We were just having a conversation oh, and stuff this. like we're that. We were sitting yeah. next to each other. Yeah. yeah. yeah, oh, no. yeah. Were you there? No, you yeah. didn't come that day. No. It was the day that you were like, oh, you guys couldn't call me? This was Maghrib. Huh? This is the guy no. we had to start together and he was sitting next to us. And he no, kept talking. It, 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 what's it called? I don't mm. think Jibril was next to me. Yeah, hey, yeah. Or oh, I think you yeah. Were. No, I was there. I was there. I remember the guy with the red imama. Huh? Yeah, the red imama. He was a little bit older. Yeah, he was, he was older. talking English to you. Yep, yeah, yeah. He was guy, telling yeah. you America. He was yeah. there. Yep, yeah, yeah, that I guy. It. Yep, yeah. I just I have a bad memory then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, but that conversation, like, and then he just kept teaching me mm-hmm. more about like when you he was telling me like how to like properly make uh what's it called um tawaf, and he was just mm-hmm. telling me like. Like, you know how right before you guys told us when you're making tawaf, don't really pay attention on what they, they, like your du'as. Mm-hmm. Keep it in your heart and Allah knows what you want. Mm-hmm. But always make dikr, you know, walk around, you know. And he was telling me something that like, I was like, he said, every time he said, every time you feel like you're questioning God or you feel like your heart is not at the right place, mm-hmm. just stand where you are and look outside you and say, how does God make all this to work? Yes, well, no. You know, mm-hmm. and to me that was like such a beautiful thing, and it was like, and the way I interpret that was, when I came back, it was like, all right, God knows what I want, but God gave me what I needed more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so to me, is like that's when I was shocked. I was like, dang. So it was just like a very different experience where I learned to be like, you know what? It's better for me to keep what it is that I want in my heart. And mm-hmm. God will eventually give me whatever I need because He knows that's what's really important for me. Mm-hmm. You know? SubhanAllah. So, Wallahi, it was just a very beautiful. And when I came here, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, you just 
Like you can smell the sins as soon yeah. as you land here. It's like it's, it's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's just like it's completely a different like environment. You know what I thought about when we flew over? Huh? What's that show? Uh, based in San Francisco, Full House. Uh huh. You know, like uh, the American lifestyle. So yep. I'm thinking, bro, we went from using those toilets to Saudi toilets. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying, okay? I ain't gonna listen, lie to you. Okay, <laughs> so I we got used lie. to that. You know, we got used to that. Yeah. And we got used to like, you know what I'm saying? So we got some features, amenities that were not as up to par here. So when we got back to America, I, I felt like I was a refugee, bro. I was like, <laughs> bro, I felt, bro, I felt like I was, I, did, I thought I, I didn't feel like a citizen no more. Everything felt new. You know, so crazy? I'm like, whoa, what the hell? You, yeah. you, you know when I knew I was Americanized, bro? Uh, yeah? So when we go to the malls and stuff like that, I'd like I'm like oh I gotta go use the bathroom you know uh -huh. so I open the bathroom it ain't the ones where you sit down <laughs> For it's sure. the ones where you squat ones, you know you doing the so sumo, this is what I told squat. myself I said uh, yeah no I'm gonna just hold on to it I'll go up to the hotel later bro for real so when I remember that. And then I'm flying back. I'm feeling like, yo, this is just different. Yeah. And bro, this is my third time going from the Middle East and coming yep. back. Yeah. And before, when I was, I was like, so I was like, yo, I have a room. I have a. To this time, I was like, yo, I have a car. That tripped me out. Yeah. We were driving so reckless and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, no, no, no. So no. I had a lot, bro. That but when you talk about that, like crazy. smelling the scents. Like, yeah. Once you get here, bro, three days, I was on the FaceTime where you were like, yo, man, we miss each other, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I have to call this guy. Yeah. And we all feeling like, we're all feeling like lonely. Uh, well, like, that's the truth. We're not walking yep. as as much. I was like, yo, I feel the be feeling of walking. Yep. <laughs> the heat, well, my body just it. felt like a, a pond. You know, a pond is just dirty and it is stagnant. Yep. Yeah. That's why I was just like, yo, I'm not moving, bro. I went from being tired in like 30 minutes to two minutes. Hey, yo, I need to sit down. Bro, like... The feeling of just walk, Sheikh Khalid, remember you told me you were planning to walk from your house all the way to the <laughs> And I went, I was like, yo, yeah, you know how deep that is? And you was like, yo, that's how much we were walking. That was nothing. Bro, back we were walking we more than that. Look at that. But from here to the masjid is very close. La ilaha illallah. It's a three minute drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same from my house, just the opposite Bro. direction. Uh -huh. That's like a 10 minute walk, really. Yeah. You and for me, because when I'd be driving, I'd be like, yo, I only pass like two, three lights. Right. Mm. To get to the masjid. Yeah. I can't walk. So, mm, so yeah. what is that? Is it just complacency, like laziness? No, no it's just, we're just American. I but mean, yeah, we have, like we have a car. Yeah, yeah. And then if you think about it, but you know, it, it's crazy though. Over there, they have cars. Yeah, but, but we don't own the car. Though. Yeah, we don't. And mm. then also, like, it's not you, designed for yeah. really driving as much. No, no, and then if you think about it, like the biggest difference is what time were we leaving to go catch prayer, mm, and what yeah. time would we leave, even if we do leave here to go catch prayer, right? Like, like I'm not like what? Actually, again, the masjid is three minutes away. Yeah. So I, I'm going to leave my house w with enough time to make sure I get there in three minutes. Mm. Right. Right. But when we were over there, yeah, we would leave after duhur to go for asr. La mm. ilaha Right. So like we're planning two hours ahead. Yeah. Right? Here, actually, it's three minutes, five minutes ahead. That's it. Mm -hmm. Allah. You know. Right. So that's that's really the like one, the biggest difference. Like mm. that planning we did. Akhi, that, that was one of the best things. Subhanallah. Yeah. I missed the heat now, Akhi. Allah. But I was in the sauna. I want to be burned, Akhi. I was in what LA. Was but I was, in, I was not going to say the gym. We don't have a sponsor. I was at a gym because uh -huh. I'm paying, brother. They got to yeah. give me a discount. And for me to say <laughs> the name. I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> I was at a gym and I'm in the sauna. And I'm just like, and my dad, he loves saunas. So he put me out with saunas, you know? So mm -hmm. I'm in the sauna and I'm just like, you know, I used to look at the old head. I'm like, why are people in the sauna? Like, we should just go hoop. Yeah. But I'm, I'm in the sauna. I'm sweating. I'm, I love the, it's weird. I love the feeling of just the sweat leaving my body without me doing nothing. And that's what Saudi was like, you know? It was a sauna every day. It was straight up. But yeah. you have to think about it. Uh. For, biologically, uh. our body genetically is for that. Yeah. Especially us. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're, not, we're not getting sun. We're not, we're not built for this Seattle gray weather, we're bro. We're not, bro. We're really not, bro. We're used to being like nomadic. Like our ancestors, like who used to be in the heat, constantly. Moving. You know, moving. For us, we're stagnant. Now we have to go out of our way to be like fitness and take care of ourselves. When you're constantly moving, everything is accessible. Hey. So when I, I'm telling you, so those three days, I started to be like, yo, what is going on? You know? Yeah. And yeah. That, that when I was thinking about like, the romanticizing and thinking about it like America TV. I don't know why my mind went there. I thought about the Fuller House or something. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, brother, this is not what it's cracked up to be. And you have to ask yourself, what is in exchange? 
Like, I, I don't know when I was there, but I was thinking about it. I was like, do they do Amazon delivery? <laughs> I don't know when I was there. I swear, I'm walking. Oh, and man. I was like, do they do Amazon these are delivery? These crazy <laughs> stories over there, bro. Hey, these are the thoughts that came when you guys were sick, huh? Bro, that, bro oh, yeah, we got oh, COVID yo, out there. Yo, bro, it that was COVID bad. Was killing man. Me, yeah. Let me tell you something. They're hiding these numbers. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> brother, we was like, uh, was UK, bad. brother, we're giving you a heads up. They're like, COVID, we don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, bro. No, hey, shout out to the UK brothers, though. Bro, man. I love I miss like, my bro. UK brothers, though. Man, Achy. I miss Australia, UK, all those mm, brothers. Bro, bro, brothers those, man. Achy, that bond, Achy, that bond. You know, like, when you make like friendships. Yeah. Right. This was better than that. Oh, yeah. Because we were building this bond, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There was nothing else that brought us together. As, as it wasn't thing, like yeah. we wanted something from them. Right? Yeah. So this was really a bond that was built on Iman. That's very and true. And that's why man. we're still thinking about them. Akhi, wallahi, there's some times where I'd be like praying and I'm making dua and stuff. Yeah. I remember those brothers. Yeah. I'm like, subhanallah. subhanAllah. This, this, there was that's time crazy. that we spent together. Right. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Uh, me, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reunite us once again uh, together. I mean, bro, I miss my UK brothers. Oh, I shout, told out, him. shout out to all our brothers, yeah, bro. Man. I mean, I oh, mean, shout out to all our brothers. brothers. Some, you know, mashallah. Yep. Subhanallah. You know what's crazy, though? I don't mm. miss the heat. Really? Nah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a heat type of guy. Nah. We, I, I you don't miss the heat? Nah. I miss everything. Everything. See, bro. I miss everything. I just don't miss the heat. You I, know, think I loved walking. He, the heat, he put me. You and Khalid put me on game. Mm. Cause you're telling me like you know, cause me, I didn't know when you sweat. <laughs> Those problems. Yeah, right? there's yeah. problems. So I was like, dang, bro. Talking about during like the actual state of Ihram is that what you talking nah, about? No, no, no. It's talking about something else. Yeah, he knows exactly what I'm talking uh, about. Uh, it's uh, bro. I'm telling you, like you walk <laughs> a certain way. Just know that it's just like your body oh, sweats. I know what you're talking about in the state of Ihram. Nah, even even outside of it, even it still outside. gets you. You serious? Yeah. Yeah, some people. Yeah. Cause it's nah, so yeah. hot. Are you serious? Like yeah. it's hot. like my body just like if it's too much heat, right. I'm like just sweating, mm -hmm. and it's like okay. Did you have a? You talked about like the background, Abdi, like your transformational experience, like yeah, back in background. But this trip specifically, Sheikh Fahd did that one first. He talked about it first. But how yeah. about you? For me, it was just the fact of just like I remember, uh, like I was saying, like stop, like what's it called? Like I know what it is that I want, right? But. I've I like this trip taught me to stop doing that and keep it in my heart and make dikr. Mm. And every time that I feel like I'm struggling, right, just think about and the the guy always he kept repeatedly said fikir 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 think 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 mm. only about God and think about how He made this earth, you know. And like what's it called? To me, the example he used was like a baby, like you know when the mom it's in the baby and stuff like that, mm. like. How could something so like complex, mm. God made no mistake with it. So you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, wow. And I was just, he just think about like the trees, how it grows from nothing to all of a sudden it gives you fruits. Everything it, it gives you nutrition, you know? Allah. And it's like, like when you look at the whole world and stuff like that, it's just like, it's so crazy. Why is it that, well, I, this is, I'm genuinely curious. You know, these things are miraculous. When we look at them, but bro, it's like we walk past these like without any kind of awe or yep. amazement. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala points to these things to make us reflect. Yeah. But why is it that we walk around these things and we're completely like ignorant and like heedless, bro? What is your thoughts on this, bro? We're just okay, forgetful. What are we thinking about when we're here? What's the number one thing everyone thinks about? Themselves? Not or only themselves. School, like that type like of stuff? responsibility. Yeah. Like, right. like you're just thinking about the dunya. Allah, like, mm -hmm. So you just have no break. time to look at the tree. Allah. And be like, look at how amazing this is. Yeah, yeah, even yeah. though you don't have time for that. that. That's for me. That was the one advice I would give them. Yeah. Whenever you feel like you're going through much, uh, like a lot, and you're like dealing with like questioning a lot, well, I just take a time just to think about God and just be like, man, God created all this, mm -hmm. and reflect on everything that you have, and mm -hmm. don't worry about what it is that you want. God would, you know, give you what it is you need. Mm -hmm. Whether it's yes, it's a, it comes in a disguise, you know what I'm saying? No, That's one thing. Alhamdulillah. Hopefully, nah, inshallah, I'll share, this, I'll share this, this, a couple okay, of stories. For, look, man, we've shared our, our, our things. Oh, yeah, this Let's guy, man, this guy, interviewer. Okay. Brother. Well, this is, this is, talk your haqqa. No, on. brother, chill out. <laughs> no, bro. Anywhere. No, nah, bro, subhanAllah. Man, how do I start? Okay, mm. when you talk about transformation, bro, I think every time, like, when I think about my childhood, growing up, teenager, getting married, and having a kid, and all that, experiences, mm. all that, like, peeled back a part of me. Something I learned. Yeah. Something I grew in. Some mm -hmm. weakness that I saw. Mm -hmm. And it's like timed. 
Wallahi, this is the one day I was talking to somebody. Uh, how the trials that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts in front of you, it's timed in the perfect way. Mm. Even though you feel like, oh, I'm not ready for this. Yeah. But it's like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trials you at a time where he knows that this is going to serve you. Mm. If you allow it to have that mindset. Okay. But if you have that mind and you don't have that sabr mindset, yeah. and you have the woe is me and complacency, and then you just start destructing, mm-hmm. right? So instead of like standing up and becoming stronger, you become weaker. Mm-hmm. When Allah knew you could lift that weight. Okay. And a lot of times in my life, I was at that time. It's like, there's no way I can handle this. But I was like, just have sabr. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. And I found myself, wow, I am capable. Yeah. And then it's like, it's happened steadily. I was reading a book. Mm-hmm. I forgot which, what it, exactly it is, but there was a quote in it. That talked about like trials and hardship in it. And the analogy the author gave was, you know, the, uh, what should we call it? The butterfly. Before it's a butterfly. What is it? A caterpillar, right? Yeah. And it's inside of a cocoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Inside that cocoon, it's struggling to get out. Mm. It starts struggling. When it gets its wings, and the wings are fragile. Yeah. When the wings are fragile, it's wiggling. Mm-hmm. It's struggling. It wants to get out. It wants to poke yeah. out. And, you know, the person who wants to have Rahma says, oh, this caterpillar, this poor caterpillar is struggling. Mm-hmm. It was to peel it open. When you peel that open, you saw it was struggling. What happens? It, it does, falls does. straight, goes down to the ground. It can't yeah. fly, mm-hmm. Because that thing that it was, it was developing the muscles in the right means mm-hmm. to be able to fly once it gets out. Yeah. So when I read that, I was like, it was a light bulb. I was like, yo, yeah. this, off, this was fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I heard that, I was like, subhanAllah. The same way that we want in, in our own struggles to find the means and like, y'all, just alleviate me right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just remove me from this struggle. Y'all, I can't take it. Mm-hmm. The last part I said, just trust me on this. Just yeah. trust me. And I think I had multiple of those moments that I had to just have to walk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because I did, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded me from it in, mm-hmm. in, in some way just by showing me, inshallah, what I'm capable of, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just that patience, bro. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, like Umrah, as much as we romanticize it, you have to have patience, Akhi. Yeah. You had a different culture. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm, I'm not good. Like, we've been hyping it up. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful thing. But there's some aspects of the culture that threw me off. Like, for example, uh, when I first went to Umrah or Hajj 2018, I'm an American guy, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm so Mahdi, I'm Muslim, but brother, I'm American, bro. Yeah. yeah. So when I went there, uh, I went there and I'm looking to order food, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, it's the street food. So yeah. I'm in line, right? You see me <laughs> in line. I'm just like this. So mm-hmm. I go to my phone. I'm like, okay. Everyone's coming in front of you. I think they're cutting me. They're on the side of me. They're mm-hmm. pushing me out the way. Yeah. yeah. So what I realized was like, whoa, what in the world? America. It's like, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, like, it's like, oh, dude, my bad. I'm so sorry, sir. Fairness. So it's like, yeah, like what we think. Yeah. And you know, here's another thing though. Uh, like even I have family that go from Somalia. Mm-hmm. And be real with you, there's probably some listeners in Somalia. There's a cultural difference. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there is sure. a there is a mashallah our people are very kind and loving but when you come from a certain environment yeah we come from a very privileged mm-hmm. bro honestly we are coddled <laughs> like a baby <laughs> we are coddled into our adulthood <laughs> oh my god why is it so hot why is it why is it so cold yeah. you know, it's, it's so small why is the shower thing not working you know <laughs> yeah. everything is just bothering us you know yeah. why is my didn't the food say it was going to be here this time yeah <laughs> yeah so I feel when, it. so when you have people who don't come who don't come from that ease, yeah. you have to toughen up. You have to get it on your own. You have to kind yeah. of survive. So I get it, but there was that cultural difference that I this cultural difference. So I had to have someone in that in that aspect. Yeah. You have to have and you have to be understanding. You have to be compassionate. Actually, I I have a privilege that some of these brothers don't that they would probably want mm-hmm. and vice versa. Here's another discussion. Mm. Do you think that the people who live in the lands of Muslim Islam? Mm-hmm. People who are exposed, who are living in the haram, yeah. <laughs> people who are living in these places. Do you feel like if you're living in that place mm-hmm. constantly, that you kind of lose sight of like where you're at? I'm, I, I wonder that. Yes. Bro. When you're in a Muslim, I place, experienced the haram. that. Okay, talk about that. like in Medina. Yeah. Oh my God. So I was going over there to go buy a SIM card. Oh huh? yeah. I. Right. It's me and Jabril. And it was the day I wore, uh, it was the day that, it didn't happen that, it was the same day, yeah. but later on was the day that the guy that said, you look like you're from uh, al Quraysh or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, you yeah, had that picture. Yeah. Bro, bro, I want to put that picture yeah. up so bad, but I'm not going to do it to you. <laughs> bro, hey, my bro, I got to find was... the fire one, I'll post it. <laughs> no, hey, my guy was 
Just so out. I, you had a white though. You had the red and my yeah, guy white. even got he got the he had, the, he got the black thing yeah, on there. Bro, I swear he didn't. Bro, he didn't. Actually, the first time I saw him, I, I didn't recognize him. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, who's this guy? You can't so write it out. Dude. That's what I'm saying. So look, oh, yeah, what happened? So, Tell us the story. I don't. You know me. I don't speak a, like I know. Like, I don't know Arabic, but I know a little bit. Like I can say, "Anna Ismi Abdul Kareem." Like yeah, I can just a little word, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we go inside. First thing, Jabril. Is the most funniest guy <laughs> and the most mosquitoes guy I've ever seen. Yeah. So he's standing there. Jabril don't know what to do. That's my brother, by the way. He's right? on the distraction episode. Yeah. Coming shout back, out, inshallah. Shout out to yeah, Jabril. Shout shout out to guy, so we go in. Hey. The guy, a guy is in front of us. I'm I'm right behind him, you know? Hey. So he's telling the guy, I don't have change. I'm <laughs> this I knew I was American. I said, nah, brother, I didn't need my change back, you know? <laughs> hey, wait, who <laughs> He didn't have change. The, the guy, the guy, the, the guy, the who guy you're buying, yeah, it from. I'm buying it from. He says he didn't have <laughs> Yo. change. I told him, Nah, man, I need my change. I'm not gonna give you this money unless I get change. You know. <laughs> so I'm like, No, I, I, I. So you know, it's funny, bro. Yeah. You know, when you go over there, you speak in a like, like. Not a regular English. You speak in the father's way. Yeah. So I'm like, no, brother, but I need change. Bro, change. I accidentally started speaking Spanish, bro. Yeah. You remember I started speaking Spanish? I said water. He said, I don't know water, water. I said, agua, agua. agua. I was serious. For a minute, I was so thirsty. He looked Mexican, brother. <laughs> I swear, one lie, I kid you not. So the guy, I'm like, I'm just like, no, I need change, change, brother, change. <laughs> and he looks at me. My guy's right? trying to make right? him understand. Yeah, I'm trying to make him understand. So he I don't speak he's it. like a father, they're going to get so it, bro. the guy looks at me <laughs> and he thinks I am like, like a, what's it called? Like a poor man. Hey, why you said that? Because you got the fit. The I got the fit. Because this guy saying, there. give me change. You know? <laughs> no, but he. And then he got the whole. Yeah, yeah. I got the whole clothes. So he's saying, like, he thinks I'm a poor man, you know? So the guy starts yelling. He talking about, rah, rah, starts yelling at me. I this I, I got frustrated. I was like, laugh Arabia. I don't know what it is you wanted to say to me. I don't understand what it is. Just give my money, he said, man. give me your passport. I said, okay. Put up my passport. He seen United States of America. I said, wallahi, I have never seen a man come from zero to a hundred. Now he did, he he said, I'm going on my lunch break. There is four guys on my left side huh? that are in line. To get with uh, uh, another person, right? Hi, they yeah. they want to get their uh, SIM, card. SIM card. Yeah, yeah. And they're from, I think, an a uh, an Asia uh, yeah. country. You know. Yeah. This guy, I kid you not, he says, "America, come, go over here." I cut four people. The express lane. Right. I yeah. cut. The, I cut it right. I see. I look at Javril. <laughs> just like, should we do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, so I'm card. like, I was like, uh, so I don't know, but guy said go. That's so it. I went boom. Bro, they so just, you cut people. I I cut it four people that were like my guy became one of them. Lanes. Yo, just because I showed him my passport. Hey, did you get a SIM card? Yeah, I did. Well, okay, why did you guys get SIM card? Khalid, you Khalid. Let me tell you, that's Medina, my brother. Shout that's your brother. Come on, come on, my guy. Medina, uh, my younger brother. Yeah. Mashat Barakallah, beautiful brother. It was yeah, great to meet him, Mashat. Man, you guys look exactly the same. Yes, I feel like literally all your brothers, Mashat. All my jeans are strong in the family. Oh, wow. yeah. May Allah protect you all. I mean, I mean, I mean. So uh, yeah, he told us to get the SIM card because uh -huh. the internet was whack in Medina. Yep, in the hotel. Nah, I mean, I, I knew the whole time I didn't get a SIM card because everyone kept saying. What's your Saudi number? I want to call you. I'm like, I didn't come here for that, brother. No way. You're trying to. I was like, to call I got my American number. You, it's gonna be expensive for you to call me. Oh, that is. No true. one was calling me. No mm. one was telling me we Allah. gotta do this. We gotta do that. Yeah. I left the hotel. There's no Wi-Fi. No one's bothering You're me. You're chilling. Mm. And that's what I told you guys. I was like, and he got stood in line four or five hours. No, I didn't stand in line. Uh, me and this guy. Didn't Who stand. are the brothers that stood for? Khalid. Khalid Khalid and Jibril. Khalid no, Khalid, and uh, I think it was um Ide. Yeah, Ide. That was, yeah, bros. I, don't, I think those two were the one. No, we came right after Asr. Mm. Literally, we prayed Asr. No one there. Ran over there. Got over there. Nobody was there. No, but that came in. That honestly makes me think, bro. Like we're from here, uh -huh. we're from the west. Yeah. Um, you know, when you think about people who come from different countries and then they move to like Muslim countries, right? Yeah. Very conservative, right? They Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Then they come here, bro. Some people they, bro. I can't imagine going from there, being born and raised, and coming here. That's over. Mm. Bro, I don't know how to react. Either I would be a full-blown sheikh and I'd be like, Udu bila, Udu bila, Udu bila. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would want to talk to me, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just going to be worse than I would just be that. But the thing or is I would be completely <clears throat> off the rack. Because imagine, it's like, it's like, bro, it's like <laughs> being... <laughs> 
in a place yeah. where you are tested in every kind of way. Yeah. And it's yeah, all yeah. available. Like, it, there's no shame in your game. Yeah, yeah. But, you to me, but to me, I feel like... You have to really like feel less if, 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 like, let's say... I am from America, but at a young age, I was taken to Medina to study, right? And I right. came back at an older age. I feel like at the end of the day, no matter whoever comes here, not like you're, at the end of the you're human, you know? Right. So when you come here, you I feel like you, you, would, yeah, you would naturally just get accustomed to it. But at the end of the day, you would have so the, the knowledge planted. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. know what's good and right for you. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I feel like you would be a lot more mature than. How you can say how then people your like, age, mashallah, like some like instead of like the Haram, but yeah. like people have it's like Kenya, for example. It's not a Muslim country, but a lot of Muslims, mm -hmm. like you hear that dinosaur. You went to Kenya, I know there's a lot of parents who I send their there. kids yeah. back to Kenya mm -hmm. and then they bring them back. Nairobi, yeah, come on, sleep, man, come on. Allah come on. So <laughs> when you come back, though, is it like a struggle or is it like you feel emboldened? No, this was when I was young, yeah, I don't Yeah, so how was that like? I don't even remember. Oh, you don't even remember? But I don't fully remember how coming to America was like. How long were you in Nairobi like for? I was there like 2004. I was there for like three years. Oh, okay. But I was young. Less than 10. Gotcha. I don't want to give my real, you know, I don't want to give the numbers so people figure out, but gotcha. I was less than 10. MashaAllah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's like, it's, but, but I think uh, like it's the same what happened to us when we went over there. Yeah. All right, like those first few days of everything just being like, what is going on? Yeah. And then for us, it's the opposite because every like we came from a place where we didn't have, we don't we don't like we don't have that many opportunities to really worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala all the time. Mm -hmm. So being given that option, being able to go to the masjid, right. every single prayer, right, being so close to the house of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, hearing the other like, so we have no choice but to do those things. La ilaha illallah. Right. And for the other people, it's the opposite. Mm. The things that they don't get to do over there, when they come over here, what happens? Mm. Now you get to do it. And just the same way how it's easy for us to do those things, it becomes so, easy to do. Do the opposite you know? thing. Yeah. La ilaha illallah. That's the actual facts. Yeah, man. I got a question for you guys, man. Talk mm -hmm. to me, brother. What was the worst moment? The worst moment out there? Yeah. This trip? This trip, yeah. Hey, do you got one? Man, worst moment for me? Yeah. Oh, it's for sure. Um... <laughs> When we arrived in what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Was it Mecca? Oh, Mecca. To me. No, 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 I thought about something. Go ahead. Uh, so I'm gonna save it. <laughs> yeah. So to me, when we arrived there, and like you know, it was Alhamdulillah, it was good. We got to go do our Umrah. You know what I'm saying? It was chill. That hotel was beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. When he asked you what's the worst occurrence, would you respond? Huh? Mecca. We said when we got to Mecca. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's not a good response, bro. No. What no, was your wait. worst experience? No. We no, went to Mecca. No, no, no. But no, 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 no he's going. He's going. I'm saying. I'm saying. So like after we did everything, like the hotel was beautiful. Now, uh -huh. I just didn't like how people, even if they were sick, bro. I'm sitting in the. This how I knew. I, I know the day exactly. I got sick. Uh -huh. I'm in the elevator. I'm with like four people in the back. All you hear is <laughs> <laughs> coughing directly next yeah, to me. Yeah, they don't cover. To me, I'm just like yeah, and I got sick. I was like, yeah, I'm never going down there to go pray. Yeah, in the, oh, yeah, that, that place yeah, 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 because yeah. yeah, it was cramped. To me, that to me that was the, that's how like, we all got sick. Bro. That's what I'm saying. And then it's just like people over there just COVID don't exist over there. There's no concept of germs. Bro. Yeah, over there. Allah, alhamdulillah. Oh, alhamdulillah, you didn't, didn't, didn't get it. Allah, 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 the guy's making us burgers. And these burgers, I'm telling you, that's why I don't like street food. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, I told you guys from the beginning. Oh, work. Okay, I gave you guys some valuable advice. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, avoid all these things. Uh -huh. Stick to your American food. We yeah. should have stuck at the clock tower. Okay. I just said. The only place to eat. To me, though, my legs was not making to the clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> but the way our hotel was? Yeah. Uh, my uh, legs yeah. was not making over there. Bro, the guy grabbed his bare hands. <laughs> the fries and just put it down. I can Jabril imagine Jabril's said, face. He, he said, <laughs> He like, he said, I was like, He said, Are you wash your hands? Sanitize? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jabril said no and just walked. We walked away. He gave the food away, the fries away. I'm telling you, bro, over there. But to me, that was the worst experience I had was just people don't cover themselves. Like, yeah, they're, like when they're yeah, sick. Like, I thought about it. Yeah. Over there. I was like, You know, in, the, in our schools, we're literally taught what? Your coffee yeah. elbow? Yeah. Over there, it's like, I sneeze in my hand. Like, I'm, I'm who does that? Like, hey, they really and do. And then they dab me up. So I like, oh. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I think I'm like, yo, dude, this concept that people know germs and coffee, like instead of going like, like this, you know, that's courtesy. Yeah. Coughing at people's face. I'm like, yo, is that a... Bro, I'm just like, yeah, it's just disgusting. <laughs> no, hey, you know what was the funniest thing for me, though? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we were praying Taraweeh. Yeah. And we, were, we, were, we, were, we couldn't pray like in the masjid, so we were praying in the clock tower. Yeah. Right. And I remember, Akhi, <laughs> we're so far up high. Right. There's no way the imam's hearing us. Yeah. Right. Every time the imams would make a mistake, people so far, they'd be correcting the mistake. SubhanAllah. I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Mm. And then there was like one he, day they can't hear him. Well, not only that, huh? but you think they need you to correct them? Damn. <laughs> they have other imams behind them, right? Yeah. Who do you think stands behind them? Mm. And you think you from nine floors up? So I'm like, you you got people that are like actually paid to correct the imam, yeah. mm. and you over here nine floors up thinking you can correct them. Mm. And then the funniest Some thing was P nine, P nine. Brother, you're not even in the clock tower. You're in the clock tower. Yep. Not only that, there was one day. <laughs> huh? Even in that place, I was in the back one day. Nice. All the way in the back. Maybe like two rows from the back. Yeah. There's a guy right in front of me. You're not even the people in the front, Akhi. Fear Allah. Mm-hmm. Why are you correcting from all the way here? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like one person. Uh-huh. It's like a whole section trying to correct the event from here. Mm. I'm like, brothers. How loud were they when they were doing it? They were, were they loud because everyone breath? could hear. I'm like, bro, the imam is not hearing you. The and imam. I don't want... Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that, those, those are the funniest moments, man. The nah. worst moment uh, to me. Somebody had to bring it up. Uh, yeah? Getting lost, Tachi. Twice. What was this? Getting lost in Jeddah. Remember oh, we got lost in Jeddah? No, and to we me, that was fun. Day. That was fun. Abdi, 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 right? Abdi, Abdi, this is the thing about Abdi. Yeah. I looked at him while he was... <laughs> Abdi's a patient guy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that one thing I know about Abdi. Yeah. Abdi's a patient guy. But that day we were dehydrated. We were lost. He didn't even want to leave the hotel. So he's looking at us like, brothers, you guys dragged me out of this hotel <laughs> and wait, made wait. us get lost. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Go back, go back. What day was, is this? Okay, that was the eighth, eighth day. Oh, eighth day. all of us. We said we were going to hit Jitta. Jitta about to be yeah. lit. Yeah, that was the first okay, day we that I was dead. leaving. <laughs> okay? Jitta's dead. <laughs> okay, we pull up to a cheesecake factory and they tell us one hour wait. Uh, come on, bro. Hey, and what was that food that we ate, though? PF Chinese food. Chinese yeah, food they right? taxed us, yeah. They taxed. It was good, though. It was worth Good. it. Good. That service was fine. But we went to the wall. I said, yo, what's what's the work we hit it up? You know, we hit after the waitress, what's the what's the good spot? Where are people celebrate? We heard Jed this people celebrate. Just something about like a water, something by the water, you like know? A show. Cornish. But the, all we were doing was walking by a water we couldn't see. Okay? It was pitch black. Yeah. We saw fireworks for 30 seconds. Yeah. And yeah. then we're looking for an Uber to get back. Yeah. We're an hour, hour or something away from the haram. Bro. Okay, I offered you guys so many Listen. Uh, look, that day. We caught an L. Biggest L for you guys. And the next I day. told you guys. Yeah. I'd pay for the hotel. We just have to stay. Yeah. None of you guys wanted to stay. Listen, brother. To me, you know I was, was down, but it was you other know brothers. It was? Huh? <laughs> you know, those be the funnest things. Oh. Getting lost. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Yeah. We kept walking back and forth. Yeah. Like, like five miles each direction. And then we get to one side. Yeah. We're like, okay, we're going to go back. No, you know what's so crazy about that day? Uh-huh. The bathrooms. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you got to pay to use the bathrooms. How do you got to pay to Okay, me and Khalid were talking about this. <laughs> From a capitalistic standpoint, right? Is the restroom a privilege or is, or it? is it a right? Uh, can, you com- can you commercialize uh, your, commodify your, your waste? Yeah. Like, you know, like you think America will pull something like that. Yeah, bro. Yes. But nah, brother, hey, that was so I've wild. never seen a gate, a turnstile to use the bathroom. <laughs> hey, was I going to a roller coaster, brother? <laughs> my stomach was wanting to do a roller coaster, brother. My no, stomach, I'm like, yo. Man. And I'm paying money Bro, to use the bathroom. That was so and the, what was the funniest thing, thing was the my line. brother said, I can, I'm, I'm not waiting. <laughs> he hopped a bit. He hopped. He said, brother, I'm from, I, hey. I have it right. <laughs> he said, I have a, <laughs> you the know so came crazy. Out. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. When he came to us, and he said, oh, I had to hop the fence. Everyone was just standing there. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like a small yeah, fence. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I look, I'm hey. like, hey, yo. Bro, you <laughs> had to climb it. <laughs> yeah. You had, and you got people looking at it, and you're the only black one there. <laughs> so you see this one black guy climbing. <laughs> bro, he didn't help the stereotype. Uh, nah, bro, wallahi, that place is actually insane. <laughs> and the brother had a throw bar, brother. Yeah, bro. You know what's crazy? Yeah. What is it? The thing was, to me, was the funniest thing was, uh-huh. everybody had to use the bathroom at different times. <laughs> bro, that was... 
I swear. <laughs> he'll go, he'll go. I'm like, I mean, oh, shoot. You know what? I got to use the bathroom. All I, no, 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 bro. You, it's a line over there. You can't go. We got to go. <laughs> I'm like, yep. I'm just out here. I recorded it. I'll send it to you. I'm like, yep. Me and my brothers were lost. We are homeless for tonight. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> no, I offered you guys a home. Listen, yeah. You guys no, refused, we, man. No, that was a really, that was a real big L. Yeah, shout out to our brother Khidr. He pulled up on us too. Allah <laughs> And his brother from ATL. Allah no, that, hey, that was, it was fun though. It yeah. was definitely to fun. To me, that's what I'm saying. I enjoyed got it. Got lost in the desert. That was a great time. Oh, these two got lost. Kind I of, didn't. I had you know fun. Hitchhiked. When was this? Oh yeah, that's that's. Uh... Okay, you have amnesia, <laughs> no, brother. That that one we have to forget. Yeah, that one you have to forget. <laughs> that brother got amnesia. No, but that was the experience. Bro, I was just ATV and all I see is you two and Jabril out of nowhere talking about we're leaving. I said, ah, oh, yep, I'm coming. Wait this for me. Thing, no, no, they just left. I'm Rob, out you there. didn't say you're coming. Wallahi, mm-hmm. bilat it. I asked yeah. Jabril. Yeah, I we said, kept talking I said, to each did... other. We're like, what did he say? Yeah, I said oh, Jabril. I said Jabril. What did Kareem said? He said he just said okay. I was like, oh, he said, okay, like, he's not coming. He said, I don't know. He just said, okay. I was like, okay, no, brother. I said, okay, I'm coming. I, bro, I go, give, the, I I give the thing up. Is, I come back, pitch black. No, <laughs> <we're> in the <laughs> desert, I <laughs> So these and guys, the the AM. so I walk back. But I'm reading, I had to close it the whole time. I'm like, but we in the desert in a pitch black. I'm just like, I'm walking, I'm walking. One, we all heard the stories, brother. I'm taking one step. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah, brother. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, the funny thing was, you know, Sheikh Fad is our teacher, right? Yeah. So every time Sheikh Fad does it, I'm like, he got a plan. Okay. Yeah. So when he got up twice in yeah. Jeddah, and this time I was like, yep, Sheikh Fad going, I'm going. Yep. So Sheikh Fad said, at least I'm going. <laughs> I'm thinking he got the taxi line. No, yep. no, you know, I, the last thing I'm thinking is we're walking in a desert for two miles, for, three, at least. for two miles yeah. in a pitch black. So then I'm walking forward to Sheikh Fahd. And Sheikh Fahd is a tall guy, so you always see him in the distance. Yeah. He's walking. I'm like, okay, Sheikh Fahd got a plan. Okay, I'm seeing no car. Mm-hmm. So I keep walking. Yeah. The more I'm walking, I'm like, okay. Something's wrong here. Something is up. Yep. I, is this an emergency? Because, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but alhamdulillah, man. It was, uh, I got some videos to <laughs> document that experience. All no, I uh, know. The, you know what's the funniest part? Uh, we got some relief. Yeah. And that relief ended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so the bus. Actually, a bus pulled over for us, right? After mm-hmm. we were waiting at the road. We were waiting at least like 30, waiting 40 minutes. Yeah. M- waving our imam and waving our thobes. <laughs> middle 1 a.m. in the middle of the night. 1 a.m. <laughs> in the middle of a highway in the middle of nowhere. Actually, uh, <laughs> a bus just pulls over. Yeah. Bro, you, you know these guys, they rip you off the whole time. The whole time, like yeah, yeah. everyone's just getting ripped off. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So what ends up happening, Akhi? I've never been ripped off like this guy because he knew we had no option. Yeah. He said, you want me to take you to Mecca? Yeah. 50 each of you. Real. Real, right? I was uh-huh. like, yeah, come on. I was like, give it to us for 30. Uh-huh. He knew there was no other option. He was like, no. <laughs> I was like, 40. No. <laughs> I said, fine, we'll pay the 50. <laughs> okay, we get on. Everyone is celebrating. The whole bus is empty. Uh-huh. Nice bus. empty. A nice, clean very nice bus. What the UK yeah. brothers call coach. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, we got a few UK brothers with us. And we're just chilling there. And we're thinking, Alhamdulillah. I go all the way in the back of the bus. My guy goes to sleep. Down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, okay, brothers were chilling. They were like, we're going we to make it back to Mecca. Yeah. I knew there was a problem as soon as someone called this guy while he was driving. But I was too tired to even listen to the conversation. Mm-hmm. So I'm not listening. And I, like, pick up my head. I'm looking at the road sign, and this guy takes the exit. Mm. Mm-hmm. He pulls up. He's like, "Get out!" <laughs> Did you have to pay? I no. Mean, so we literally yeah. drove only like ten minutes, right? Was yeah, it 10 yeah minutes? it was ten I minutes. I blinked, bro, and I'm like, "Why is the bus stop moving?" I, I thought I was dreaming. I think. I get it. I see Chef Fly talking microphone. I was like, "Lay Oh man! So the guy said, "Just get out. I can drive you guys to Mecca. Get out here." We were like, "Did this?" And then he, my guy, had the nerve to be like, "Aren't you gonna give me something?" Okay, you, you made us more stranded. At least we could have went back to our brothers. Mm. Now we're really in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But alhamdulillah. At alhamdulillah. least our Uber was working. No, and he dropped Uber. us off at a very nice place. There was like a carnival. Mm-hmm. Like there was like, you know, rides and things yeah. like that. Right? Like he dropped us right next to it. Mm-hmm. So there was a bunch of Ubers there. Right. Mm. We got the Uber. Right the Uber came right, right away. It came. It was already parked mm. there. And then we took the thing. Uh, alhamdulillah. But uh, okay. yeah, that was uh, that was experience. See, while that was going on with them, my guy was ATV. <laughs> uh, no, there's no such thing as ATV. Uh. All I'm sitting down, right? I'm just vibing. I'm like, ah, right, yep. Whenever these guys are ready to leave, I'm ready to go. I hear, 
If you're leaving at 8 a.m. in the morning, please come right now. I said, wait, there's only one bus. <laughs> so what do you mean if you're leaving 8 a.m.? They just plan on leaving us here today? You know, I was, just, I was just like, okay. So me, I'm like, hey, bro, I, I got to get to the hotel. I'm not liking this area, you know? No, it's okay. It's okay. We're there. Boom. All right, yep. At least you guys got I try to sneak myself into there. <laughs> All you see is I was going to go up. I was going to get in, right? All you see is like three, three, four people coming down. I said, you're American. You try to do the same thing as me. But they didn't allow us to go in. It was half women and half guys. They were rushing, you know? Right. And some of the guys that were still leaving it in were right here. We don't know how or what exactly is going to happen. I'm just there sitting down. No, doesn't, no car. No car. No. The bus just left. And I'm out here just like, okay. If I sleep and I wake up with 10 camels next to me, I'm done. I think that's it. I no longer know where I am, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, dang, bro. And it's just pitch black. And I'm just sitting there. And then we decided to play a game. And then they brought pizza. And they bought water, right? So I'm like, yep, I'm chilling. Then a bus comes. And I, this is my head. I'm like, dang. Idris is probably sitting down. Sheikh Fahad, they're just probably vibing, talking, da 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 I go to my, we got lost. I said, <laughs> yep. Nah, nah, nah. It was, bro, that was just the craziest thing, bro. Alhamdulillah, bro. It was Alhamdulillah, a, it was a good adventure. It was a beautiful experience. Yeah. That's, That's know, what I'm saying. We got to learn lost, more about ourselves and spend time with brothers, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Like, when you get lost, it's like the funnest thing. Cause you, if you're with somebody, if it's you're not alone, fun until after. No, but that, no, in the time you, you know, just stress. It's, it's stressful. <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. But then once, like you find your way home, you're like, dang, that was actually fun. It becomes funny as hell. Yeah, like, it's like dang. The, hotel, we, the minute we got to the hotel, we crack up laughing. Bro, mm-hmm. it was it was disaster. Because you know how many times me and this guy <laughs> got you lost. Mean, okay, as soon as we pulled to the hotel, there's a fight. Oh, <laughs> huh? You didn't know about that. We didn't tell you. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't tell him. Okay, let's just keep it short, bro. Okay, we were walking to the hotel. We already had a very stressful night. It's two in the morning. Uh-huh. We're already struggling. Uh-huh. We just, you, you know our hotel where it was? Uh-huh. You know that last climb? That's a disaster. Yeah. yeah. The, You're not the hurting. The, everything else is cool until yeah. you get to that climb. Yeah. We're trying to get there and we're like, this is about to be a struggle. Uh-huh. Yeah. We just see dudes going head up. Like fist fight? Fist fighting right in front of the thing. Yeah, okay, I was shocked. Wow. I was like, what, what My guy was like, we back in the hood? No, you know how many cars parked up? Bro, cars parked like crazy. F- police there and the thing, you know. Yeah. You know how many times me and this guy got lost? Yeah. More than you can imagine. When? No, in the general? wilderness. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Me and this guy walk into the woods. Fishing. Just, just, hey, by the way, we gotta get back on that. Yeah, bro. Uh, fishing, fishing. The things sure. we did for fishing. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. It's hey, another I'm down episode, soon, bro. Let's get. Actually, that's it. It's this another episode. Yeah. That's all I know. We just walk in, bro. There was a time I fell into like. What I thought was water. It was not water. <laughs> I just fell in. I'm like, it is. It was a I'm just yelling. We're I'm walking like, on a wooden thing. The wood collapsed. This whole wow. guy's leg is inside. That's funny. Yeah, some funny experiences. Hey, we got to get more into those. Yep, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, so I don't know, man. We had a beautiful experience. and uh, no, I, lo- I for sure loved it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, there was, uh, like, there was some books that I got to buy, which you know were very difficult for me to find. Yeah. Um, obviously, the bond that we built. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I learned oh, yeah? um, is that like going to Umrah mm-hmm. is better to go without a group. Mm. But the thing that the group offers you that you can't get by going by yourself oh, yeah? is that bond of brotherhood that you get to build there. That mm-hmm. is true. That right? is true. So even though going with a group might be difficult, it might be like. No, what know, I like, heard was it was like because of Ramadan. Yeah, that's one thing. A lot of know? the issues and logistical. No, not, not even just that. Just like in, like in general, yeah. going like we went to Hajj. Yeah, we went to Hajj with groups. That was a struggle. Yep. But the bond that we built with the people you went twenty nineteen, I yeah. went twenty. You went twenty eighteen, I went twenty nineteen. Right. The people that I went to Hajj with, there's still this bond that we have together. Allah. There's still people that don't live in this state that I hit up that we went to Hajj together. Allah. Yeah. And that's the only connection that we have to one another. You know. Yeah. Allah. So like that bond that you built, and I think like like as believers. Yeah, so. this is a bond like a bond of iman that we need to establish, mm. and one of the best ways to do that is to go on these type of things. Yeah, so. you know, going to Umrah, going to Hajj, um, you know, going to like different you know historic Islamic sites yeah. know, together, and you know, you, you you get that feeling of like the whole time I was in Umrah. One of the things I mean, when we were over there, one of the things that I kept thinking about mm. was like Islam came from these places. Mm. Like Islam came from Medina Islam came from Muscat 
the struggles that people had to go through for us to be able to come back so many years later. Yeah. Mm. Like, what are we going to do so that other millions of people later are going to come back? Yeah. Mm. Right? So that, that, that's, you know, alhamdulillah, um, you know, that's the thing that you get. So the bond that you build, right. like mm-hmm. you really see Islam, you know? Yeah. Not just oh. the people you see here in the masjid when you go yeah. to, but you see people from all over the world coming right. with the same purpose as you mm-hmm. to come worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, true. so that's why like, if we ever go, inshallah, when we go back, inshallah, Come on. We might still go with the group, man. That's it, okay. Inshallah, you know, we'll make it go happen. and build that bond with the yeah. brothers, and you no, know, I, that, that. I enjoyed it. To me, it was like with everything that happened, I still wouldn't trade it for anything because it's nah, like it was just such a like a it was such experience. like a crazy. It was like a roller coaster. Yeah. And to yeah. me, it's like you know, use these depend on who you are. Oh, yeah. for sure. Um, you know? Actually, right now, every time I see Mecca or Medina on my thing, like my heart starts to hurt. Mm. Like, well, why? Why are we not there? Mm-hmm. You know. I feel um, it, man. Allah and to me, like Wallahi, I love Medina. Yeah, Medina was. Remember so how I was yeah, telling you, Sheikh Fahd, do you hear the birds chirping? Sheikh Fahd was like, what? No, I actually don't. Akhi, you don't hear nothing in Medina. Even the conversation. We never understood. No, they, you do hear it's like an ambience, it's like a beautiful Akhi, it floats. You know, they say there's so much peace and tranquility in Medina. Right. So when I went in 2019 to Hajj, so. we first went to Mecca. Right. And then we went to Medina after finishing Hajj and stuff. Right. And everyone that I went with, they were everyone was just talking about how amazing Medina was. Uh-huh. But for me, I couldn't get that experience because all I was thinking about mm. was leaving the Kaaba. Mm. Right, like, like I couldn't believe that's where, where I left. Right. Yeah. So at that time, Medina didn't like like it didn't meet the expectations for me as it did for everybody else. Mm. Yeah. Because the only thing, and then even now, I still like. I, like even though Medina is amazing Medina is beautiful so, mm-hmm. I think personally Like I love Mecca More than Medina mm. Mm. Right And I think The main reason The Kaaba is there You right. know I, I think like the, the When we made Tawaf When we made Umrah together Right, right The first Umrah We went and we were Making Umrah mm-hmm. And we were making Tawaf And we were down In the Like the actual floor Of the Kaaba Yeah right. Actually every time I'd go around And I would look like From every direction You see the Kaaba oh. It's like You know Our entire lives Mm. Our ibadah is directed towards this thing, like the, yeah. this is our qibla, yeah, and we're this close to it. Yeah, that so, was right? crazy. So there's, so there's like that 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 built up that you already have of every time that you pray the salah, you know you're facing the Kaaba, mm-hmm. you t- you're praying towards the qibla, yeah. But now you're like actually there, yeah, right. Oh. But this time I was actually able to understand what everybody was saying when we went to Hajj, mm. like how peaceful Medina is, how much tranquility there is, right. and he like we, we're, one day me and him were walking. Hey? And we're talking about how there's a million people here. Everybody's talking just like me and him. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we're talking, we're walking. Right. And you don't hear anybody. Nobody. Where? In Medina. You, like, bro. Like, you don't hear anyone you know talk, but everyone's close? talking. Yo, Chef, that's everyone is talking. You don't hear nobody talking. <laughs> no, that's actually trippy. Now, to me, that's, that's what I was telling you. I was like, Sheikh Fadi. That's when I said, this is like, this is the Sakina there. That hey, tranquility of Medina, that's what it was there. Was it the whole world? Okay. <laughs> Like you don't hear anything like, Everything bro, is so peaceful Exactly Opposite of Makkah That was shocking Akhi, Makkah, Nobody's talking You hear everybody like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makkah, To me I felt the hecticness yeah. Medina I'm Akhi. like It's Damn. that That's what it is It's the hectic When you feel chaos Overwhelmed mm-hmm. A lot of people That's the truth Especially Ramadan bro When you go to Ramadan Like mm-hmm. I went different times It's different During different times But Medina When I This is the first time I started in Medina mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the fact of ending in Medina. The reason why I say that is because it's like you work because you're working. You're striving in Mecca to accumulate, what, the 100,000 yeah. uh, mm-hmm. deeds of yeah. one salah, of prayer, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And when you go to, uh, what is it called, Medina, it's less than that, uh-huh. but you're not. it's not that same striving. So you're striving, you're striving, you're doing your tawaf, you're doing your umrah, maybe you're doing it for a deceased family or people who can't do mm-hmm. it physically. Yeah. So you're struggling. You're shaving your head. You're going back and forth, walking back to the hotel. So you really work working. When you go to the Medina, it's like a splash of cold water now. Mm-hmm. It's his own La-la. thing. You see yeah. what I'm saying? It's like just rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you just go. So this ha- I, there's a pro and a con here. I love the fact that I can get, maybe because when we started in Jeddah, when I first went 2018 and when I went uh, with, uh, with our family, mm-hmm. we were in our ihram flying. From the the yeah. So then, Us too. you know, you can't wear scented deodorant. Mm-hmm. You can't really wear any, you can't really, can you shower? In the, yeah, you can shower. You just yeah. can't have any soap. I remember Hajj. Yeah. You can't have any scent and stuff. So, mustiness. You know, you're yeah. chafing. So... Oh. He's talking about mustiness. You know what's so crazy? Huh? Do you guys buy any atar or perfumes from there? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. 
That I, I put it on myself. You were putting it on no, no, here. Yes. Do you no, still no. have it? Yeah, I do. No, you I use it? Yep. How does it smell? Beautiful. Okay, mine, I cannot wear the perfumes I bought. Why? Because I realized the reason it smelled like that was because it was for over there. Over here, Akhi, I put it, I put, I sprayed one on, Akhi. Yeah. To this day, those clothes, even though I washed them, they still have that scent. It's hella strong. Super strong. It's Dude. not even, you know, the Atar thing? Oh, no, the Atar thing. Yes, cool. Oh, my God. I'll be walking. Oh, the one with the, you guys got bopped on. Ah, see, here. That Dua one. Yeah, you got, uh, you did, I got bopped. Yeah, I, we all got bopped. We all got bopped. But the thing Even with the discount I get, we, we all get bopped. Right. Huh. Left and right. I was just throwing money like I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the land of the merchants, Akhi. Yeah. No. Nah. Hey, but, but, but yeah, Akhi, yeah. Mecca though, Mecca, Mecca, Mecca has my heart, man. Allah. Nah, me, Allah. Medina. I don't know what it Allah is about Medina. No, Medina's. I love them both, but I love them both. I'm not going to say, but yeah, it's me, just I that just they have their own unique yeah. uh, um, just attributes that you really appreciate each when you go to both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like Mecca has this strong, like a super high, overwhelming kind of, oh my yeah. God. And it's joy, right? It's passion. Mm -hmm. But when you go over to Medina, it's like rest, it's tranquility, it's, it's peace. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Right. Like me, Medina feels me, so yeah. calm for us. Yeah, it's literally where the Prophet yeah. is buried. Yeah, yeah. To that's me, you could just feel the buttercup. Yeah. To me, it's not even the fact that like, what's it called? It was just so peaceful. To me, just like, they both have like amazing history mm -hmm. but to me just like when you were teaching us about like the history of the prophets teaching of about the companions that was buried next to him and on top of that where the burial is at and mm -hmm. stuff like that and i remember the night we were walking back from the dinner spot and we're yeah. walking by the grave to me i was just like whoa like you could feel like like i don't know i felt it in i was like man this place the war the histories the battles that the berries the cries and all that stuff you could feel mm -hmm. and it's like god just that blessed this whole place to be so calm and to me that's what i was feeling i was like i was just walking i didn't hear no cars nothing i just heard the quran that's it i was Achille. walking no, it was definitely special you know Achille, december inshallah yeah. Okay, Winter break, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah. inshallah. I know that we have been kind of, like I said, uh, distant. Yeah. But inshallah, uh, see, we're and we're at we're at a, the cusp of season two of Taki Hak mm -hmm. ending. You know, we had a good stride. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh yeah. Bader on multiple times. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. He's probably he, you're one of the guys who pushed us to start the season two, get it yeah. going, and may Allah reward you for I doing mean, so. I mean, uh, so inshallah, season three will be coming. Uh, you know, after you know we. Big life changes happening between all of us three. Okay. Alhamdulillah. That's true, man. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And you know, inshallah, at some point we're going to disclose those things. Uh, but major life changes happen, I'm sure, for you guys as well during this time of year, you know, for uh -huh. all of us. And uh, we look forward to updating you guys. But anticipate about five more episodes, I want to say, for this season, inshallah, inshallah. give or take. Inshallah. And, um, you know, may Allah allow this to continue to benefit. I mean, uh, so again, Sheikh Farah, I'd like to thank you, brother, for joining us on the podcast. Allah, 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 always Allah, a pleasure. Allah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. It's always amazing talking to you guys. Allah, 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 come on, man. Allah, and you know what's crazy? Hey, talk to us. It's the first time we've seen each other. Oh, since we got back. Really, that's yeah. True, yeah. All together. Yeah, all together. All together. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. We saw each other yesterday. Yeah, yeah. We went to Asr together. And... That is true. Who won? Okay, are we going to get into that right now? No, it's just, just the eye. That's all I It's tied no, up no, in my head. Yeah, in his head. Yeah, We're going to talk about it. After. Now, the fact <laughs> that he said in my head, <laughs> yeah. that tells you something. You got to calculate the scores. No, okay. no, that tells you something, right? This is the only imam in the United States that hoops you. That's crazy. You said what? Your imam just hooped you. I've Listen, never heard no, of that. Imam imam just I, I teach you on the court and in the classroom. Okay. Listen, yeah, okay, okay. No, we're definitely going back to LA. As soon, let's just end this podcast. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna go back and hoop. All right. Uh, Come on, man. Hi, Allah. Hi. Shout out to our Amro group, man. Hey. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Amro group. Shout out to our brothers everyone. over there. Come on, for sure, uh, for sure. May, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless them. I mean, I mean, uh, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala continue to bless them. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala reunite us. I you mean, know, bless I mean. all the brothers that were there with us, all the brothers that you know we made amazing memories with. I mean, and if we transgressed any of them or you know we took any of their rights, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgive all of us. I mean. I mean. On top of that, if you're from Seattle, I'm opening up a cafe. Slide through. Hey, come on, you go ahead and talk about it. Hamar wena. Nah, man. Inshallah, that's uh, I'm in the work of it. So once it's fully accomplished, I try to come sneak through, in. Come uh, through, got that shah. Yeah, shah. shah, shah if you want to talk your podcast, shah, if you want big right drinks, here, everything. Banging. There you go. Banging tea. Allah come on. Allah on. All right, All right brothers. Inshallah, we're gonna holla at y'all. Inshallah, uh, barakallah fi. Thank you guys for listening to this podcast, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Inshallah. Alaikum. Alaikum.